Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus, who's coming towards you in regards to love, romance, and relationships for Scorpio. Oracle of love for single Scorpios. Who's coming towards you? Okay, the Five of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming towards you. Now, this could be a fellow water sign that's coming through here with the Five of Cups. I feel like this person is coming in with some sort of loss or grief that is around them. I feel like they've recently parted with someone or lost something or someone that's been very, very important to them for a very long time. The Five of Cups is, is sort of hesitation to let go of something so I feel like there's an emotional connection around this person now or just before the two of you come together um, and they're learning to letting go so I, they're learning to let go of something or someone here so I feel as though there's some sort of grief that is around them with the five of cups you know there's losses around them it could be financial loss loss of a person um, I feel as though the five of cups they've still got something in their hands here so I feel like they still have hope um, and there's lots of fishes here, so this could be a Pisces, but I feel like they're talking to someone whimsical. So I almost feel like this person seeks help for for their loss um, or for something that's passed them by. It could be like a psychologist or counsellor if they've lost someone in their life. Um, if there's been loss of funds, loss of business, I feel like they may be speaking to like an accountant or a financial advisor, but I think this person is either coping with loss or helps other people cope with loss loss on a day-to-day -day basis, either for work, professionally, or in their personal life. This person could be quite empathetic and sympathetic is what I'm um, getting with the Five of Cups, um, Scorpio. Okay, Knight of Cups, more water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming through here with the Knight of Cups. I feel as though when this person loves or they become attached, um, you know, they fall really hard. I almost feel like it's all or nothing with this person. I don't think they've really met their ultimate love. Like I see with the Knight of the Cups, uh, they, they've always had an idea or a certain perception of love, but they've never met the, the one person, the one person that makes them feel all this emotion that evokes so much love and joy and care. And I don't think this is something they've come across yet, Scorpio. And I think this is something they'll find with you. I feel like they, they like to offer their heart, though. I feel like when uh, they're very honest and they're very truthful um, because there's sincerity with emotion. I feel like this person, because they're so empathetic and considerate, they're quite generous and thoughtful is what I'm getting here with the Knight of Cups. It's also a confession, honesty, and admittance. So I feel like this person is one to admit when they're wrong, um, is one to confess something that's been on their mind. So far, it doesn't look as though this person would keep much from you. I think they're quite honest to themselves, to the people around them. Definitely because they're an empath, so they feel how other people feel. Like they have this amazing ability to feel someone else's emotion. And because of this amazing ability, they wouldn't want any wrong done to them is what I'm seeing here. But I feel like um, falling in love or becoming attached to this person could occur very quickly. Um, almost effortlessly, um, he's Scorpio. Let's use these cards, see what comes up. Okay, the Lover's card, Gemini energy here with the Lover's card. This is a beautiful, um, beautiful energy here. This can be a Gemini. I see it as a, uh, as a soulmate. I feel like the universe, the sun is shining on the both of you. This is a relationship where you'll be able to be... Um, very honest with each other and very open there's a certain openness and you'll just you'll just be in this bubble in your own little world and you'll be so complacent with this Scorpio I really do feel it's a soulmate because it's the universe the gods angels spirit that's bringing you this person and I feel like with the doves whisking away his crown it almost looks like a ring so this person may um have lost someone they were engaged to or there's potential engagements for the two of you in the future weddings commitments promise rings some sort of talisman or token to commemorate your love to commemorate your union here with the lover's card so this is really beautiful you know the dove the, the white dove is truthfulness it's it's honesty um it's purity this is a very pure connection again this person is a pure soul I don't think they've ever committed a crime. I don't, I don't think they've ever done much wrong in their life um, because of this. And the lovers is you and having 
love falling in love falling each other in a very falling for each other in a very beautiful way he's scorpio and there's a certain element of intensity here but i absolutely love what it represents it's also creation it's the adam and eve and um, you can see the snake with the apple so this is a first for a lot of you but it's definitely one that could bring creation in the form of engagements wedding um, or children even pregnancies as well with the lovers card but it is someone that's destined to be in your path and you can create a beautiful future together okay eight of pentacles is earth energy taurus capricorn or virgo coming through here with the eight of pentacles i feel like this person has a lot of things going on in their life right now especially when it comes to career. It's almost like they've had a string of jobs or a string of achievements or a string of businesses. I feel like they're very much involved in the money, the monetary or the um, analytic side of things when it comes to business. So they could be in finance. They could work with people on a day-to-day -day basis and help them deal with financial loss um, of some kind here with the Eight of Pentacles. I think they're well-educated or they've, they've embarked on some sort of journey of higher learning to get them to where they are now, Scorpio. And I think they're quite successful with the eight of pentacles um i honestly feel like they're a very hard worker they're a very hard achieve high achiever um but very peculiar you know the spider webs his majestic um weaves his majestic web so i feel like this person can be quite creative and or whimsical um, it's generally an energy of someone that puts in a lot of work in themselves, maybe in presentation, um, in their career, in their personal life, and especially when it comes to relationship, they definitely want to commit in, in, in forms of actions, more so th um, than just, you know, talking the talk. They actually walk the walk is what I'm seeing with the Eight of Pentacles. The Chariot card, this is Cancer Energy coming through here with the Chariot card. I feel like they're very successful in... Um, in their life they've come to prominence with a chariot card so they can they could be in the public eye they could work in like the uh, central business district and um, they could work for a very prominent or reputable company um, it could involve motion um, like a, a luxury car dealership um, a luxury airline it's something that's quite prestigious they have prestigiousness about them with the chariot card I also feel like they dr they have driven themselves to success here, but I like this in the form of emotions because I feel emotionally they want things to progress and they're quite open to what relationships can offer here. So I feel like they're wanting to learn what 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 it can what this connection is what what this connection could be here scorpio so there's a lot of compatibility because so far this person is also quite sensitive and in tune with their emotions which can indicate compatibility for the both of you. But um you know, the chariot is also someone who's in a quite a good position. So I feel as though this person might have a lot of dominance in the relationship, but it's a good dominance. It's them wanting the relationship to move at a very healthy pace, um, which is really nice to see with the chariot card. Um, definitely a lot of compatibility the two of you will be driving this relationship. So there's reciprocity here as well as dominance. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, energy with the Page of Pentacles. This person is highly intellectual. I feel like they're sitting on some sort of business idea or offer. This person will watch you first before they... Um, before they commit to offering you love. I feel like they've had their eye on you or will have their eye on you for quite some time. You may work together. The pentacles can denote commerce and a place of wealth or a place of business. Um, so I feel as though the two of you intellectually are quite compatible. So common interests, um, commonalities, things that, you, that resonate with you resonate with this person also. And I feel like they're very observant. They're very thoughtful because they're very observant. The owl is very intelligent and very observant. He sees everything. And I feel like this person is no exception. They're very analytical and they've got great attention to detail is what I'm seeing here. But I almost feel like they'll be staring at you from afar. They're in admiration here, Scorpio. Who could blame them? Um, but honestly, I just feel like there's they're so set on you, like there's stubbornness. This pentacle is not about to go anywhere. Like it doesn't look like it's about to roll off. It's just very steady. So I'm seeing they've had a very steady interest in you for quite some amount of time here, Scorpio. But eventually an offer will come with it and they'll express themselves. 
They could also be working directly with finances as well or, in, or with assets. Okay, this is amazing. You've had the lovers and the two of cups, twin flame, soulmate energy coming through his Scorpio. This is intense. Some of you are definitely meeting this person. You're intertwined with each other and will be for a very long time, if not your twilight years. This is a relationship that could stand the test of time. The Two of Cups, the deep-rooted energy of the trees, the ancient wisdom of the trees, this relationship, you'll learn a lot of lessons, karmic lessons. You'll become wiser as a person, as a lover, as a spouse, um, as a life partner. But for some of you, you're already intertwined somehow, so your lives are already interconnected in some way, shape, or form through working together, maybe through mutual friends, but there's some sort of familiarity that is between the two of you. Now, the Two of Cups can also rule engagements and unions. So I think for a lot of you, this person is your happily ever after or is your future spouse. And this is very, very exciting. You know, they're offering you their cup and you're offering it back and your heart, your heart's on the line and it's hanging here and you're just so happy. You're very happy here, Scorpio. This person can offer exactly what you're looking for. Okay, the Queen of Cups. She's popped up for a lot of signs, actually. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Intensity in love, doing the dance of love, just feeling so happy, feeling like you're on a happy high because of this person. They make you feel like a goddess or a god. I mean, depending on what gender you identify with, whoever's watching, um, or just they make you feel divine. They make you feel really, really special with the Queen of Cups. And this shows that they're going to bring out the best in you, Scorpio. You love who you are around them. You feel like, you know, you're being treated so beautifully, so fairly, so respectfully, um, so sweetly. And I think you're going to bask in it. Like I see you just in your natural element. You are the Queen of Cups. Um, so this is you, your energy coming up here. And this is also their energy. So I feel like the two of you are going deeper. You can see these uh, sea turtles and they're going deeper, deeper and deeper into connection. So I almost feel like this soul connection is becoming deeper and deeper with each day, each week, each year that passes for the two of you. And this is a beautiful energy to have. Um, I also think this, pers this person is quite intuitive and or spiritual. Um, they're very connected with, you know, their higher self. There's quite an enlightened energy about them as well with the Queen of Cups. Okay, let's have a look at when and where you'll meet. Okay, you've had too many cards fall out, so I'm not going to pick out those ones because about half of the deck fell out. But let's see the ones that are sticking out here. Okay, the Nine of Wands. I feel like this person is going to come up in uh, come into your life when you're resistant about love. I see you you've got your guard up, so they're going to come. I think there's a reason why they're coming into your path. They're a soulmate, so I think they're here to nurture your heart somehow. He's Scorpio. Some of you have been very closed off. The nine of wands is being closed off. It's being scared, hesitant, despaired, not willing to open up to yourself. And I feel like this is t this is a time when this person is coming into your path. They're going to, you're going to learn to let your walls down. You're going to learn how to be more open and inviting to people and not so mysterious and not so distant is what I'm seeing here, Scorpio. So you definitely will surprise yourself. Now, the Page of Cups, it could definitely be through career or through finance or through some sort of business transaction or service that you'll be meeting, which is also indicated by the Knight of Pentacles. Um, Again, the page has come up twice here. So this is someone that has been watching you from a distance. There's been consistency with this person. Either you've consistently hopped online at the same time. You consistently cross each other when you're going to work in the morning. You catch the same train um, on your way to work or something. But there's some consistency here. And you see each other on a consistent basis. And every time you see each other, it grows in, in, in energy, in intensity here. So this is really powerful. But it, it, for some of you, this could be that you, you meet at a time when you're out spending money or receiving money. So say, for example, you might be visiting a bank. You might be spending money at the shops. Um, you might be spending money on a material asset. And this is around the time this person is going to come into your life. 
Three of Swords energy, I feel like you'll still have someone from your past here, Scorpio, that you'll be dealing with. Either there'll be an ex around you at the time that Reef surfaces, or there'll be someone that's also interested in you, but perhaps can't offer you the same things as this gentle soul can. So I feel like with the Three of Swords, it's going to come at a time where you're, feel, you're feeling very conflicted about love, or you're conflicted about who to choose in regards to love. So I feel like this person is just going to be another option to you. I feel like you have a lot of options available to you at this point in time and you'll be extra confused with who to choose and which journey to path, um, which path to journey, sorry. But the Three of Swords, you know, is, is again, conflict in love, lack of confidence in love. So this person is definitely going to come in and change things for you. You know, the Page of Pentacles is here. Again, it's either through career or through money or this person. You, some of you, you're friends with this person, actually. I honestly feel like you're well acquainted already. So if you're not lovers and you're not interested in them in a love way, I think that's about to change you, Scorpio, because they're honestly, they've had their eye on you for quite some time and things are starting to become in, in motion as we speak. So not in the future, but as of now, things are already behind the scenes here, Scorpio. And this person is definitely coming into your path with a beautiful long-term offer. I will leave it at that though, Scorpio.